Welcome to Strip Coverlet. I'm Adrian Fort, and we are here for the Author Tube Newbie Tag, uh, for which I was tagged by both Maya Good and Jade from the Boho Bookworm ages ago, and I just never really got around to it, as well as the original <clears throat> was done by Jenna the Dark One, uh, and I will link all of those people in the description below. Here's the first question, number one, how did you find out about Author Tube? Uh, I found out from Maya's uh, author tube newbie tag. It was the first I had heard of author tube. Uh, two, what genres do you write in? I write mainly Star Wars fan fiction and Viking themed erotica. That's not true. I write speculative fiction mainly, which is kind of like magical realism, but not as intense. Basically, you take the real world and you turn one little knob just a little bit till you get something that you think can really uh, exploit a theme in the way that it is interpreted by people. For instance, uh, George Saunders' collection, The Tenth of December, a lot of those stories are about mood-enhancing drugs or drugs that do one specific thing to you. <clears throat> and how, how do you play with that uh, on a person-to-person -person level? And what are some things that, that that can expose about the human condition? Uh, and for me, that's a really fun place to play uh, in the real world still, but with one little thing that might be different. The third question is, what is your preferred writing tense and point of view? Uh, I think that first person is where literary pater it is. I think that the revelations that are available to the character in first person as your audience is reading them with the I pronoun in the uh, in a prevalent spot is a sort of magic. You're making your reader say I believe blank. I found out blank. This happened to me. Um, and I think that when it's done well uh, that is the real literary painter because it is a type of almost it's it's a type of it's it's kind of magic if I can quote Queen, uh, but it's 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 a type of hypnotism almost that your reader is falling into and being lulled along for the ride. Uh, now third person I think is where is where you stand to really be able to put your skills on display against the greats, right? Because m most of the, the greats, the classics, wrote in, in, in the third person. Uh, that's not necessarily true. But a lot, of, a, a lot of the... Hemingway wrote a lot in the third person. And you, you see what he was able to do with it in such sparse... Uh, sentences in such confined language and if you were able to paint those types of pictures in the third person it is really a testament to your skill as a writer to be able to invoke a revelation in your reader without the first person is probably harder than not um, but just to piss people off I, I really love writing in the second person and the present tense Excuse me, uh, because if if you can if you can pull that off in a way that is not abrasive, you're really doing something right. <coughs> now I think uh, one of the things to keep in mind here is that uh, this is a newbie tag, right? So when we take into account that, well, this is a book that I'm going through for the channel. Uh, chapter by chapter, and it's addressed to newer writers. Uh, first person and second person, unless you really know what you're doing, should almost always be avoided because they, they come across very abrasive. Um, especially if your protagonist, excuse me, <coughs> I'm dying over here. If your protagonist comes across as braggadocious but not in a um, 
charming way. Like a lot of a lot of newer writers fall into that trap of trying to impress their reader with their protagonist, and when that is so, you have someone you want to read about, uh, and when that protagonist is written in the first person by a newer writer, sometimes it comes across as something that's just very try hard. Um, number four, are you a plotter, pantser, or a planter? Mainly a pantser, I think, because that tends to be the way that one writes literary fiction, I think. The story has to sort of come to you in the first draft, and then you go back and you maybe uh, pants or plants it up a little bit. Five, are you self-published, published, or yet to be published? <clears throat> I have poetry and short stories published in a number of places. All of those places that I can still find online, I will link in the description below. Um, but since I am not a novelist at this point, being self-published doesn't really make much sense because a lot of the times what you're doing when you're self-publishing a novel is trying to trying to garner that market for yourself, right? Um, Aragon is that a is that the YA series that started as self-publishing did well for itself, and then a publisher came along and said, "Hey, why don't we?" jump on board here and I think that that's really uh, a lot of times I won't say the goal but the maybe the dream when someone goes about self-publishing um, and I've heard stories of people now who have garnered such an audience for themselves that when a standard publisher comes along and says hey we'll take your stuff they say no because you're not going to give me the cut that I'm making now so really the whole market has sort of changed as far as those things are concerned. Number six, what publishing company, literary agent, and or blah, blah, blah? No. No, I have not done any of those things yet. Um, that is not where I'm at as a writer, again, uh, as I am <clears throat> mainly just a short story writer at this point and a poetry writer at this point. Um, you you kind of have to make a bit more of a name for yourself before it, it's just a little bit of a different avenue, if you will, than, than the standard novelist has to go through. I think there are different roads at this point still. Seven, what author tube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? Again, I'm going to be breaking down writing craft books. Um, this will be a 29 part series on the channel. I hope to get to On Writing by Stephen King, and I've got a couple others floating around here that I think I will go to next. Um, I'm going to be getting into three more series about writing eventually. Uh, every book that I read from here on out that is fiction, I will be doing five writing tips from that book, things that I think are interesting or profitable for a writer in that. <clears throat> Uh, and a couple more series that I'll be doing, but I don't really want to talk about them yet because I don't have them completely hammered out, and I don't want to. I don't want to make false promises. Uh, eight. When did you start writing? Before I could write, I was always making up stories. I was always uh, doodling and scribbling before I could actually write, and just pretending that it was something that I was writing down. Um, really as far back as I can remember, <clears throat> which has been embarrassing more than anything. Nine, what was the first story you ever wrote? Again, this was before I could write. Uh, my aunt had like a thousand dogs and there was one room in her house, I think it was her office, that they were not allowed into. So I wrote a, a book from the dog's perspective called What's on the Other Side of the Door in which each of her dogs presented and speculated, presented a story on their speculation as to what was behind the door. Um, terrible stuff, it was just awful, just garbage. But uh, I was four, five, something. What authors, Tim, what authors have inspired your writing the most? Emily Dickinson, Ernest Hemingway, and Chuck Palahniuk. Uh, and to a lesser extent, because I've only read one of his novels, Tom Spanbauer. But if you ever get the chance to read Spanbauer, he is someone that, w that can utterly convince you that first-person narration is the way to go. 
uh, Levin, do you schedule your writing sessions or just write whenever you can find the time? Basically, yes. Um, I have work scheduled. Other than that, all of the other scheduled time that I have is for reading and or writing. Um, I think that you have to force yourself to write in order to be a writer because it's so easy to to not write and call yourself a writer because you have written but you are not currently doing so uh, and again one of the arguments in this book that she has made Carrie Majors has made in the chapter that I'm outlining right now is that reading is writing but I think really that if you want to put it in in terms similar to sports reading is like breaking down tape right um, Kobe Bryant watched Michael Jordan readers should or writers should read the greats uh, I think that's more akin to what reading is it's still a necessary part of writerhood but I don't think that it is really writing I don't think that it counts because at the end of the day if you haven't put anything on paper there's no chance for it to be published and being published is what really counts that's that's the game right uh, that is game time publication um, so I think that uh, if this if this question is extended into what do you suggest other people do I think that you have to do both you just have to keep yourself honest uh, 12 do you type on a computer typewriter write everything by hand or use a blend my poetry and short stories are written by hand in composition books yada 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 um, because I found a they're, they're it's portable so I can take it anywhere with me uh, B it allows you this it, it allows you like a 1.5 draft when you're typing it up you'll catch things that you spelled wrong, you'll catch sentences that don't quite make sense, you'll catch um, little parts of the story that really need polishing as you were translating it from handwriting to text or to type. Uh, but when I'm when I'm trying to write novels, which I've I've got tons of novels started, but I'm not a novelist, um, I put it straight through the keyboard. Uh, Thirteen what are you most looking forward to now that you are part of AuthorTube? Uh, getting the invite to all the parties. I've heard they're, they're really far out. And I tag. It's hard for me to really keep up with things like this because this tag really hit the market and, and took off. But I don't think that I have seen AuthorTube tags from Erica or Monse. And I haven't seen a video from Monse since, since she was drunk. So hopefully these two get on that. Maybe Erica could do her author tube tag drunk. Um, but if you like what you saw here, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and if you have not done this tag and you are looking forward to doing this tag, uh, I hope that you do so as well.